Hi there. So we're um, doing a bit of a live update to try and tell you where we are, what's going on, why the videos are slowed down, what's happening with the fact that the videos are far behind us, and uh, yeah, sort of where we are in the progress of things. Um, there's a lot to tell you, <laughs> but we're going to try and do it pretty quick. So um, basically, over the course of the last few months, we've been doing the great ooze then the middle levels, which the videos will not have caught up to the middle levels by the time you see this. But we've done the middle levels. But we've done the middle levels. Um, and then we're going to get to Peterborough, which is where we are, just outside Peterborough at this point. Um, and the videos will catch up to us, but there is a backlog, and that backlog is about 20 videos, and it's going to take a while to clear. And by the time it clears, we're going to have some big changes ahead. So we've been tracking our progress on this fairly tatty uh, IWA map we got four years ago when we started way down here on the river way. Um, and we're probably going to end up framing this once we're finished after sort of some, uh, you know, museum quality restoration and getting rid of some blue tack and stuff. So we started way the heck down here. We went up the K&A, we came up, we went over, we bent up. You've followed us along if you've gotten to the videos around the beginning of Locked In up here. We've been over, we've been up, we've been around. We came across the wash, we've been down here. We were in Cambridge. By the time you're watching this video, the next video that comes out will have us right around here. And then there will be a little bit of a drop over here. Uh, and that means that this stretch here, the River Neen, from Peterborough up to Northampton, where it meets the Grand Union, is the end of this quest to do the entire thing. Yeah, lots of people have been saying to us, um, how much have you done? How much have you got left to do? So we thought... We would say, we've done virtually all of it, and we've got a very little amount just, of it left. Just the name. Yeah. Um, so in that process, we have built up this backlog of videos, but also during the last few months, um, I've had to do a couple of, well, fairly intense online programs for the schooling I'm going to be moving on to. More about that later. Um, and I've had to be off the boat several times to make some um, in-person visits and also a couple of doctor's appointments. And, and when you've been on the boat, the, there's been times when you've been just chained to your desk on your yeah. computer. All, all I've been able to do is just work um, at that desk. And when we haven't been, when I haven't been consumed by that, I've been moving the boat. Um, Joe has had to fill in some of that time with some projects on top of the editing because the editing was getting too overwhelming. Uh, there was just too much of it. And, uh, so she's spent some time on some of her maps, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, she's also started preparing for a walk on the West Highland Way that she's going to be doing, uh, in a couple of weeks. And, um, yeah, so, you know, that, that'll be good fun. Yep. Um, and yeah. So we're going to talk a little bit about those projects, and then we're going to talk a little bit about what happens next. So yeah, um, lots of you have seen my navigable, navigable waterways map. That's the portrait version. There's also a landscape version. And um, I always get really lovely feedback on it, and it amazes me that so many people have bought it. So mm -hmm. thank you. Um, but I've also had lots of requests for a colour in version. Um, which I can totally relate to because we've wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> so I made a colour in version of the map. Um, I haven't coloured ours in yet, actually. I'm going to insert a picture of it because you can't really see it here. Um, it's a little bit different. It doesn't have a key. Instead, it's got the names of the waterways actually written on them because uh, it's mainly in black and white. But the waterways are all hollow, so you can you can colour them in with pens or pencils. Um, we've used different paper. We've used uncoated bond. Um, so it's easier to colour, um, which is a little bit of a, a lighter weight, but it's definitely heavier weight than, than this one. So yeah, I, if you do end up getting hold of one of these ones, I'd love to see uh, your version. I'd love to see where you've been, where you've travelled to and how you colour it in. So please, please, if you do buy one, send me a picture um, and if or post it on social media. And if you do post it on social media, use the hashtag colour the cut um, and we'll follow that hashtag on Twitter and on Instagram. So we'll be able to see them. So before anybody gets too concerned about that uh, hashtag there, we did ask David at Cruising the Cut whether or not it was okay to use Color of the Cut. Um, he is well aware of it. <laughs> it did win the vote uh, that we did, and and it is, you know, a really good hashtag to use for it. So, yeah. 
but we are, we are not trying to hem in on his business. Uh, <laughs> Someone did accuse us of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> so while I'm telling you about my new maps, I've also made some cruising ring maps. Um, there's lots of cruising rings. I think there's 12 or 10 or something in total, but I've just done four. Um, and they're the smaller size, the smaller version. Um, so they'll also be on the website if anyone's interested. And there is a Leicester ring. There is a South Pennine ring. This one is the Four Counties ring, and this one is the Cheshire ring. And if there's any other particular rings that you want me to do, let me know, and I'll add them to my list. <laughs> um, this is quite a list. Yeah, so yeah, I thought these were a little bit different, um, and I thought they might be good for people that maybe have just hired a boat and just done a ring rather than the whole network. So that's why I did those ones. And? Oh yeah, and what else have I been doing? Well, what else have you been doing? <laughs> She's been whacking things with a hammer. Like, yeah, while Michael's been on these conference calls, I've been sat at the dinette hammering metal because, um, yeah, the, I really enjoy doing the videos, but I just wanted something that was creative but a bit different. So in the last lockdown, I decided that I wanted to start making earrings and then that led to me wanting to sell them. So I've actually opened a small Etsy shop. Um, I opened it a couple of months ago and I've had lots of lovely support and lots of lovely feedback so if you are interested in having a look at my earrings i'll uh, put a link in the description to below um, and you can go and check them out they're really nice if you see me wearing earrings in um in recent videos they're probably my own well definitely my own because i don't own any other earrings <laughs> yeah so yeah that brings us to um well the rest of it right so yeah we're in a bit of an interesting place because we are getting to the end of the system. We've been doing this series of videos, which we're at 400 and something. Just uh, released 410. 410. So we're going to be getting up into the 430s, possibly as far as the 440s, by the time uh, we actually finish the backlog and get the whole thing cleared out. At that point, we'll have done the whole ring, but we're going to have to make some changes in terms of how we move forward because we have goals that we need to meet yeah like the plan was always to do one video per cruise um so we've got a video of literally everywhere we've been but when we get back to northampton we'll start repeating and we don't necessarily want to film in the same way yeah yeah so we've got things we need to do like the boat has gotten to the point we, we've done four years of cruising we've beaten up this boat pretty good perseverance needs a little bit of an overhaul um, there is some kitchen work that needs to be done. There is some work in the bathroom that needs to be done. Um, there's just some basic refurbishment and probably a paint job. And all of this is stuff that we're going to try and do ourselves or at least as much as we can before we kind of go nuts. Um, this is if we choose to remain on the boat, which is what we think we are going to do, what we are hoping to do. Uh, however, life events in my world around university are potentially going to um throw in a monkey wrench because it's just unknown at the moment yeah it's unknown and at least one of the options of universities is not particularly accessible by boat yeah, <laughs> um, so so the living on a boat we want to keep living on a boat and that has some influence in the choice of school yeah but it's not the only influence no ultimately i have to make a decision based on the program that i'm after and the particular area of interest which would bore the heck out of most people but <laughs> is programming languages and their sort of evolution and adoption metrics and i'm interested in how people pick these things up um that means that there's only a relatively small number of schools that actually have a program that has any real interest in that area and where there are research groups. So I have a small number of schools to choose from. Of those small number of schools, they're dotted around the country. Um, there are some very good options. The strongest of them would lead us Scotland way which would be great because that would allow us to move the boat up there. But that has a whole bunch of logistical things that would have to line up. And so we'll see. Yeah. And it kind of complement complicates the next year in terms of what we do with the boat in terms of renovations, because if we're going to be living on the boat for the next four years, 
there's one set of renovations we do and if we're not going to be living on the boat it's a different set of renovations yeah and not living on the boat could either mean keeping it in a marina as a holiday boat potentially or selling it and getting a different boat or selling it and not getting a boat and it's just too many unknowns at the moment yeah there's a lot of unknowns and unfortunately they're not going to be resolved until early next year um, basically m my application for the master's degree that i'm going to be doing is for september of next year um, i'm in the process of filling in applications i'm doing some preliminary coursework um, i am basically trying to line up and cross all of the the uh, various priorities off and make sure i've got the right people involved um and yeah there's funding issues there's all sorts of other reasons why it's kind of there's a whole matrix of problems where we need to kind of juggle some things and figure out where it's going to go it's, it's exciting it's exciting but it's also pretty scary because we've been on this road for four and a half years and you know we've just been working through it and so seeing that coming to an end is actually very daunting mm -hmm. but this is where i kind of think about my time i was in vietnam i was on a motorbike i started at the bottom of vietnam i drove to the top of vietnam i always knew at some point i was going to run out of vietnam yeah and and it's really sad and and yet amazing right yeah, it's like you because then you find the next thing right and and that's the issue here is we set out to do the canals and we set out to do all of the canals and i took that to a much more maniacal level than joe really <laughs> understood was going to happen but you know we've we've done so much you know we've crossed the wash we've done the thames we've done all of this you know wonderful exploration of the country we've seen so much of this country um but it's time to stop cruising for the purposes of doing that. Taking things off. Yeah, we're not going to be taking off the boxes anymore. Now we've got sort of more logistical problems we need to take care of. We need to do the repairs. We need to get the boat out of the water and do some blacking. You know, we're going to want to film those pieces of work as we do them, but we're not going to be doing the... The day cruising everything. vlog, cruising vlog, cruising vlog, and we might, and building up another backlog. We, we might still be doing some cruising vlogs, but they'll just be different to what we have been doing. Yeah, yeah. They'll have We're a different focus. Treat them in a different way. So the changes we do know are going to happen is, is that once we've gotten to the end of the system, that's kind of the end of the things that are going to be added as daily cruises onto our queue. Once the queue has worked its way through and all of the videos are released, which will probably be somewhere around Christmas. Yeah. You know, um, at that point, the videos will slow down. They won't necessarily slow down in, you know, we might still be doing a video a week or something like that. Um, but they're not going to be daily cruises. They're not going to be, you know, a single video per cruise. Yeah. The other thing that's going to have to happen is um, I have been trying desperately to keep up with the commentary. Um because I've loved this community. It's been incredibly helpful to me. The people who have come in and been so generous with their, their, you know, praise, but also their support, support and their stories. I mean, we've got so many people who've told me stories about their progression through cancer, their losses during COVID and how the videos have helped them. Their, um, you know their own journey with buying a boat and... the, yeah their own journeys with buying a boat their own struggles with having you know developed uh, um, uh, medical issues and had to move off the boat i mean there's, it's just been i mean there's been an incredible number of stories including all the people who are telling me about oh you know this is where my dad was 40 years yeah, ago yeah. and thank you for showing me this place where he grew up yeah, like and I, this is where my i live on the other side of the world now and i haven't seen this area yeah, in, in 50 years or whatever it's yeah. just it's incredible and it's been such a privilege to be able to try and communicate with this, you know, very varied number of people coming from all sorts of different directions, many of whom are extremely pedantic and argumentative about little tiny details. <laughs> the way we pronounce things. <laughs> <laughs> but but so many people have been so sweet and 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 just it's been amazing. However, What's happened as we've gotten to 400 videos is, is that people will go back and they'll start watching from the beginning, and that's amazing. But they'll comment from the beginning, and then they'll comment, you know. And, so it'll and, be like October 2018. What, yes. What was this off-the-hand comment about this?
So we checked some statistics a while back, and last year we did over 25,000 comments. Thousands and thousands and thousands. And I do like 5% of the comments. Michael does 90% of the comments. And there's 5% that we absolutely read and just kind of like because... We have to because yeah. of the flood of them. But that... and, and this isn't like... I, I want to read them all and I want to respond to them all. The reality is, is that it's simply gotten too hard to do that. Yeah, so and... the, we are going to obviously keep reading them all, but the ones that we reply to now are not going to be the 95%. It's going to reduce. Yeah, we're going to have to do that because otherwise I won't be able to do the work I need to do. No. Um, it's gotten to the point where it's actually... As, as the number of videos have expanded, it's gotten overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, and that's another reason why we've, put, we've been putting out a few less videos recently, because, you know, they take they take a day to edit, or well, then they take a day to reply to the comments. Yeah. So. Yeah. Which, again, is not, com it's not complaining. It's just simply... Yeah, because we don't, you know, I don't think most people who put YouTube videos out and get the number of comments that we do reply to the number of comments that we were playing. They to. probably don't. And then obviously it's not just on YouTube, but the majority is on YouTube, but then we get people messaging us on all the social medias and sending us emails and you're just never, never on top of it. There's yeah. Always, there's always Which this. is, I mean, like I say, it's a, good it, problem. It, it's a really good problem to have. Um, I can't tell you how much it has like affected my life to, and made it easier for me to make it through COVID yeah. and, for us to sort of continue on in places where we've run into moments of I'm too tired and beat to do this, but we feel like we have to, Yeah, you know, like it, it is, it's good to carry on. It's good to keep making videos. Um, it's been good to, to, to be able to have that interaction with people. Yeah, because as we've had this, well, Michael's potentially, but Michael particularly has had this drive to go everywhere. Um, and that has come hand in hand with having this drive to film everything. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? We couldn't, we couldn't get halfway through and then stop doing the videos. If we were going to finish the network, we were going to finish the series of videos yeah. on the network. Yeah. And here we are. We're coming to, it's time to finish the videos. It's time to finish the network. It's time to say, okay, that's it. This is the end of the system vlogs. Yeah. And the system vlogs will be one body, and then as we move forward... It will change. It will change. We don't know exactly how it will change, we just know that it will change. And, you know, hopefully it will be, you know, worthwhile for everybody. Because I know from the comments that, like, people will want to know what's up with George. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like... <laughs> That's, um, yeah, it's all about the priorities. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, just... just he, we know. It. He's the star of the show, the number of people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Us. And, you know, and we'll we'll keep you up to date with what's going on with George. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on with us. And, um, with, the, and with the boat, because it's obviously a narrow boat channel. So yeah, and if and, we end up buying a new boat, if we end up selling this boat, if we end up living on this boat for another four years, then there'll be lots more boat videos. Yeah. Yeah, and, we just and can't tell you what way, it's going to be. No, but hopefully, hopefully there won't be too many mechanical breakdown videos. <laughs> hopefully there will be several painting the boat videos. Hopefully there will be some, here's how you do some interior repairs on a boat videos. There'll be some, here's how not to do interior <laughs> there repairs. Will definitely, on... yeah, yeah, there will probably be some, here's how not to do it. But we don't want to make videos for the sake of it. Like, we just need to work out what, what yeah. it's going to be. So that's where we're at. Um... That's where we've been. These are what we've been doing. This is where we're going. This Who is knows? where we're going. And uh, hope you enjoyed finding that out. Hope you're not too worried about the future. Um, we're not too worried about the future. Depends on what day you ask us. Depends on what day you ask us. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. There are some moments where it's like, I think I'm just rolling dice. Uh, one way or another, wish me luck on figuring out this school thing. Um, because I, I pretty much have it figured out. It's just, it's not quite there, so I can't make any announcements or anything. Yeah, it's one of, probably one of two. Probably one of two with a fallback. Of three. Of three. But, you know, it's, it's, yeah. Um, it's probably one, possibly two, 
with a fallback of three, all because there are just so many things in the air and, and logistics can be a real issue. So one way or another, uh, we'll have some news on that at some point in the future. And uh, hopefully we will have, um, yeah, more shots in slow motion of George catching balls as well. So thank you for watching. Um, hope you liked that one. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. We will reply. We will reply to these ones. <laughs> but possibly not as much going forward. Yes. Um, and click that bell if you want to get notifications.